So welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm just going to follow up a rather old video which was of uh, basic uh, deckling and we're going to now go into it in a more detailed sense. So I've got some of the setting solutions here. So you've got Mr. Mark Setter and Neo which aren't the same as uh, the ones you'll see people using in America and on the continent. The ones in the UK aren't, aren't quite the same strength. Got solver set and in between was the VMS uh, decal set as well. Now the solver set, if you can get hold of it, it's again American, it's very, very strong. Uh, but generally with all the decals I use, I start with micro set and micro sole. So uh, a little bit of warm water, same old thing, get your uh, decal nice and uh, ready. And um, don't worry too much about the pronunciation of decal. And then with a bit of kitchen roll that I just have folded over, I then let it sit on there with hopefully a puddle of warm water over the top as well. I find that helps quite well to uh, to let it loosen a little bit from the backing paper. And then with some micro set, we just paint that on with a clean paintbrush. I must admit, I use a single brush just for deckling. I don't use any other. We've got some rivet detail here as well, so it's going to it's going to make it uh, tricky for us. So this is me putting on micro set, which is the blue bowl, which is phase one of the micro set sole combination. And um, the the other one, the Gunzi micro, hang on, uh, not micro, neo set and neo sole, I think it is, or something like that. Um, that's the same. You start with the blue and then you go on to the green. It's not so much a two part process whereas this is so I've got the micro set underneath there and it's just enough to be able to move the decal around so you get it into place this is all the basic stuff obviously what we're going to try and do is hammer it on down into those decals and the recesses uh, so what this is doing is getting making sure we haven't got any air underneath and getting good adhesion from the decal onto the surface and then from there we try and then melt the actual decal into the surface detail so it's two things we want to get it stuck on really nicely and then when it is we want to melt it in and if you do that you shouldn't have any issues with silvering you should be able to do this over both a gloss coat or a matte a gloss surface or a matte surface with the same result by the way i prefer having a shinier surface although this isn't a gloss coat this is just the shiny finish from mrp um but you know you i have seen people get the same result over matte you just need to sort of choose which works best for you and go from there i do find the gloss to be a little bit more forgiving but you know that you could argue either way on that so once you've got it on nicely a uh, that was a wet cotton bud uh, just rolled over to press the decal down again and then just with a bunch of um, kitchen roll just moistened I'm just pressing it down now just to make sure we haven't got any air underneath no air pockets or anything then it's time to start with the micro set sole now it's time to start with micro sole that's the red bottle and this is going to start melting the decal so once that's dried you obviously put it on leave it for a few hours don't touch it because you are melting it you start to see it come down and that's what we've got here now uh, I'm going for a second application just to try and get things working which uh, it, it does you know it just takes time it's best to put it all on and leave it I also use gravity as well which seems a strange thing to say but what that means is don't put it on you know put put the melting solution on the on the decal and then turn it upside down it's best to leave it face up so gravity will help suck it in whereas if you do it the other way say if it was on the underside you want to turn the plane over as well rather than put it back down with the top showing if that makes sense now with a needle i just use that edge to roll through the panel line uh, because I find that's much better than an actual knife blade because instead a knife blade just cuts it and then you can almost get it flapping either side whereas using a needle tends to blend it into both sides of the panel line this is my rivet at all you may have a different one but this is the one I use and that's how we then start to get the rivets to show through it and by that we just trace one of the existing rivet lines that's already there using the tool we line it up make sure we're happy i always look ahead of where i'm going at the end of the line 
tends to get me there straighter. And as you can see, we've pushed through nicely. It's puckered up a little bit, but that's good. We've got some holes in there which should now meet the riveted holes. So once you've gone all over all of that, we apply another uh, melting solution, so micro sole, or uh, here I'm actually using solver set now to really hammer it down in. And I put quite a good, nice application on. And once you do that, once you start using these stronger applications, put it on, put it down, face up and leave it and walk away, maybe overnight, and you'll be left with that. When you apply your matte coat for finishing, the carrier film will disappear and that will look like it's painted on. So hopefully that's of help, a little bit more advanced, but carrying on from what we did before and it's a very effective result. <laughs>